Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and today we've got something a little bit different than I usually do. We do have a review, but we're also going to be doing some test bench stuff today, so this is quite exciting. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of coolers and fans from Noctua. Uh, they're well known for doing some really good cooling solutions for CPUs, so um, we're going to give some of them a go. So I'm going to show you what we've got. We're going to unbox so you can see what you get in the boxes, and then we're going to do some bench testing. Alright guys, let's get on with it. Alright, so here's one of the fans. I have three to test, which I will do, um, but I'm only going to box two of them because i just got to be showing you what's actually in the boxes, and two of them are very similar. Uh, so this is the NHU14S. So let's open this up, and you see what we've got. So I'm not going to be taking out all the screws and all that sort of stuff. I'm just going to show you what the, uh, the heat sinks look like. Right, so we get uh, two different types of mounting brackets, AMD, Intel, very handy. You also get a little accessories box. So this has got um, some thermal compound in there, which is really nice that they provided that, and some other bits and bobs. And then underneath here, of course, it comes with one fan, and you see that the sink is underneath there, so let's, uh, let's pull that out. I do have an additional fans, um, so you can see how this performs with all the fans and it needs a little bit fiddly let's just turn it that way come on there we go we'll get this box out of the way and if i just open up the sides should just lift right up um, i'm also going to show you how to install these as well it's going to be very 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 simple i should be able to just lift this out now so here it is as you can see nice big 140 fan there and obviously you can put one on the other side this is where it attaches to the cpu right there Lots of lovely venting, great, huge, this is massive. Um, one of the things that I really like about these fans is they just come with this little adjuster here, a little clip, you pull it out and it just comes off like that and then you just pull it to put it back on again. Extremely simple, very good. So that's that one, let's have a look at the other one now. Okay, so this is the other one, the one that I'm not unboxing, this is the NHU12S it's very similar to the last one, so we'll just take that out of the way. There's no point opening that up. The other one is this great thing. Now, you thought the other fan was massive. Wait until you see this. So this is the NHD14. So let's open this one up. And you can see the size of this thing. So again, this comes with a kit of all the different bits and bobs, mounts and whatnot inside there. Very, very handy. And if we just pull this off the top get it out of the way under here you should be able to see there we go so that is one big mount so if you give me a second and i'll just get it out of the box so here it is out of the box this is one hefty heat sink with a fan configuration this is in a pull through configuration like that uh, as you can see, this is actually a 150mm fan, and this is a 120 And uh, This is, you know, not a bad little configuration. You can see it's, yeah, one hefty looking thing. It's, it's been tested, don't worry. We're going to do this again. Um, so what I'm going to go on to now is mounting this up onto our test bench, and uh, we're going to do some standard configurations um, in the BIOS, no overclocking, to see... Uh, how well this performs and cools and we'll have a little graph and then we're going to do some overclocking to do a bit of a comparison as well all right so here is the test bench we'll quickly go over what we've actually got here uh provided by gigabyte we have the 990 fxa ud3 motherboard uh, AMD provided with us with the rest of the parts that we need. So we've got the AMD Radeon HD7970 right there for the graphics. Uh, we've got 8 gigs of RAM here. And uh, the CPU is an FX uh, H320. So uh, more details about all the specification of this will be in the video description. One of the things that I want to point out is make sure when you're doing this kind of stuff, you get yourself um, earthed. I'm just clicked to this because it's plugged in. It's not switched on, of course, um, but you, you know you, you want to get make sure you've not got any static going on when you're messing around with your processor and all that sort of stuff. So, 
we're going to mount the NHU12S, which is this one. So in order to mount this properly, you want to take the fans off so it's just the heat sink on its own. Um, I've already gone ahead and put the back plate on here. Uh, it's just a square like so. As you can see, there's just these two arms that go on here with little plastic spaces. It's extremely simple. You just put the back plate on, screw in either corner, and then tighten it all together until you end up with this. And you'll see that we've got two little mount screws right here, which line up with this. So that goes on there like that. But of course, you don't forget your thermal paste. So they have quite nicely supplied us with this little tiny tube of thermal paste. Um, so you just unscrew the end of there and you only need a very, very small amount. So let's just put that on there, squeeze a bit out. That should be it, just that little tiny little blob there because obviously this compresses it right down. It will spread right across there. And of course, if you're replacing your old cooling unit, whatever you had, make sure you get the old thermal paste off before you put the new stuff on. Very important. All right, so this is very simply uh, choose whichever way you want your logo to go. Doesn't matter either way, but if you you know you're conscious about how you display this thing in a case or whatever, um, you got the logo there. So you literally just line it up before you press it down, like so, and that's it. Get your screwdriver, so I've got a little tool right here, and just tighten it up, not like super tight, but just enough. Uh, make sure you get the other one tightened up the same, and then when you're happy with the positioning of it, that you've got it in the right position, um, tighten it up all the way. And it doesn't need to be mega, mega tight, just enough so that it's stable, because stable, you don't want to be, you know, compressing all this equipment into each other and there we go that is very nicely stable so then you get your fan so we've got the 120 millimeter fan here and these clips are, are very very simple they come in the box they go through the hole right here like so and it just goes around like that super super simple there we go so you want it so it's in that sort of configuration and um, figure out where your fan power supply is it's right here on this board for me um, so I'm going to put this one on this side and you literally just line it up, pull the clips on the sides, and go, I'm not quite lined up, and there's one, there's two, and that is on, look how that is nice and steady, and then you can literally just plug your fan in, job done. So what I'm going to do now is I'll get the other 120 meter fan on there, make sure it's on a pull configuration uh, that just means you make sure you put the fan on the right way around <laughs> uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the test I'm not going to show you how to put the other fan on because it's exactly the same I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs it's just a demonstration so there we go all right let's get on with actually testing these fans now okay then so here are the results of the temperature performance this is on no power save mode and uh, not overclocked. So the results for the NHU12S, as you can see, with one fan is idle 30 degrees and with load 55 degrees. Then the NHU14S with one fan is 29 degrees with uh, a load of 53 degrees. Then onto the NHD14, this is with two fans. Uh, we've got a, a results of 28 degrees and we've lowered 51 degrees and the NHD14 one fan uh, without load idle 29 degrees and with load 52 degrees we've also got a couple of uh, results there for a Be Quiet Shadow Rock 2 and uh, a GameStorm Lucifer as well for a bit of comparison so you can see the results from them um, so let's go on to load results now with overclocking so here are the temperature results of the PC overclocked 4.2 gigahertz um, and under load. So again from the top, the NHU12S was at 63 degrees, the NHU14S 61 degrees, the NHD14 58 degrees and finally the NHD14 with one fan was at 60 degrees. So there we go. Let's move on to my final thoughts. All right, so there's the results from the fans. Uh, 
very impressive results. I'm quite happy with those. Um, they're quite popular on the market, I do believe, after doing my little bit of research. Um, as you can see, we had a couple of different fans on there, just so you can do a bit of a comparison to see what they're like. And, you know, it's about the same. About the same. Uh, they are well known on the market, these particular fans, they're not sure. Um, one in particular that caught my attention was, uh, let me see, it was the U14S with the single fan, uh, was a great big 140 fan, but its RPM was only 850, so that means it was actually really quite quiet, and for me that's important because I do a lot of uh, video recording, so to have quiet fans is good because it reduces background noise. Um, and the temperature differences, as you could see from earlier, uh, between that and say the D14, which has two fans, or had two fans during the test, uh, there's only one degree difference in temperature uh, during idle, and two degrees difference on the load, and then when they were overclocked, again, there was only there was there was a three degree difference uh, on the overclock, so the U14S got what, 61 degrees, and the D14 with two fans got 58 degrees. So you know the D14 was obviously louder. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I didn't have the equipment to do like um, audio tests on them. Maybe we can do that for the next time we're doing this kind of test. Um, so my opinion is that the U14S with a single fan um, would be my personal favourite. Obviously, you're going to have different favourites depending on what you're doing. Um, so there we go. I'm really quite impressed with them, so I'm going to give them a Hardware Heaven recommended. And I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a first for me. Never done this kind of test bench stuff before. I've done tinkering and whatnot over the years, but never really actually sat down with a proper test bench and done it properly. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.